time for Top That Trade with our top professors, Alan Neckman, the chief market strategist at BullseyeOption.com, and Phil Flynn, a Fox Business News contributor, here to share their street smarts with us in our trader game, Top That Trade. Round number one, guys, good news, bad. Sometimes a market reacts with a rally to bad news. What's your best lesson for knowing when bad is good? When it comes to the markets, we're often dealing with bizarro world where the markets will react opposite to what you think. It's really a psychology game for a lot of folks. Um, and it's hard to stick to your discipline sometimes because you're confused by what the news says. If you remember in the last years, bad news has always been good news for the markets because it meant that they couldn't raise rates. And now good news is bad news for the markets. We've had exceptional earnings, companies' revenues and companies' earnings beat expectations, and everything looks positive for corporate world, but the psychology has brought us down. You know, a lot of times when we look at the news and we see bad news, a lot of times it's already priced into the market right. because the market is a forward-looking vehicle. That's good. Round number two, bringing the heat at any time a stock, commodity, or bond can get hot with rallies and heavy volumes and trading. What's your cool trading plan? I think when uh, the stocks are hot, don't necessarily chase the hot stock. You know, look for the hot stock before it gets hot, right? Uh, you know, and anticipate. And I think that's one of the things you want to do. Uh, sometimes you should buy stocks that are out of favor. Look at the sector that was beaten up the most, the one that everybody hates, and find out why they hate it. And then a lot of times, that's the one that is undervalued. For example, energy is a perfect example. In recent years, nobody wanted oil and gas. We're not going to use that stuff anymore. We're all going electric. Oil companies absolutely got obliterated. Anything oil or gas, drillers, producing companies, you name it. Now, all of a sudden, when this overall market doesn't look as good, these stocks are killing it because people took it for granted. So look for the value, and that's how you're going to make money. I'm on the same uh, idea here with energy in the fact that I think it's going to get hot in the summertime because we'll be ranking up those uh, air conditioners once again. So natural gas, which we've been talking about for weeks and months on this show, is up 200% in the last year, but it's still 25% off its 2018 top and a long ways away uh, if you look at UNG as the ETF that tracks natural gas, a long ways away from the 2000s uh, extreme high there. Round number three, billion dollar winners. Name the billionaire you trust and follow the most when it comes to investing ideas. The Waltons, the Walmart fortune, Elon Musk, Tesla, or Warren Buffett. When I look at the billionaires for guidance, I look at Apple. I think Apple's a better barometer of, of you know, the technology sector. And Apple had uh, dropped 25% from the top, but it was still up 200% in the last couple, in the last three years. So I'm looking for Apple for my my signals. Now Apple doesn't have a a face, so to speak, like like a lot of these other stocks do. But I think it's a, a good barometer of uh, of what's happening in the market. They don't have a face, but they have an app for it. You can download to get a face <laughs> on your phone. No. I you know, who said sell in May and go that. away? The summertime sometimes is the best time to buy some of these stocks. And, and, you know, when we talk about who is the guy to follow, I think for most of the people watching the show, well, I have to go with Warren Buffett. Well, well, me or Alan, but other than that, Warren Buffett. Because Warren Buffett is good, old-fashioned, sensible investment. Most people should listen to him. Listen, he's the guy that buys when things are bad. He buys low and sells high. Wow, what a novel thing. Here's your bonus round for today. It's ticker time. Can you spot the true ticker? Will it be class, C-L-A-S, school, S-C-O-O-L, or A+. plus? I picked the first one. The second one. Alan gets the A-plus today. Great job to both of you. We've learned a lot. Business First AM's summer trading school continues right after this quick recess.